Hey, it's Dan the uh, bread man here. I'm going to show you what I'm doing with this scalded rye bread. So, uh, let's see. This is the sponge I made with uh, two cups of rye flour, two cups of water, and about a quarter cup of sourdough starter. You put boiling water, two cups of boiling water, boiling hot, right on the flour and mix it together first without the sourdough, no salt either. And then you uh, mix it up real nice and you let it sit for, uh, till it cools off, room temperature. And then you put the sourdough starter in and you let that sit for eight hours or overnight, whatever, at room temperature, okay? So it's supposed to have been fermenting. That's what it looks like. It's a big, gloppy, but kind of, eh, it's not, that's not bad. It's not as thick as I thought. The next step is to add this to two cups of all-purpose flour and uh, and some salt, two tablespoons of salt. Salt, bam! Always wanted to do that on camera. And there's two cups of flour. This is a big bowl, so it doesn't look like much. But there's two cups of all-purpose unbleached uh, flour. You can find this on Amazon. You can find it in your store. If you go to Amazon, uh, use the link and I'll get a commission. I'm just kidding. There's a, I also have some bobs. I'll take whatever you got. Okay, I'm going to dump this in here. And um, I think that this is... Now, that they, they say no more water. Which... Uh, I think this is going to be super dry. But they say no more water, so no more water. Except uh, if I think if I think uh, it needs water, I'm gonna spritz it. So I'm gonna just scoop it in there. Dan's kitchen. Never, I never made a kitchen video before. Well, not for public consumption, because. Usually I don't have any pants on when I'm in the kitchen. Just kidding. And, uh, well, you should ask Susan about that. All right. Let's see. I know you can't really see. You're supposed to mix it up. I'll show you the book I'm using. I'm sure there's like 8 million other, uh, versions of this on the uh, on the YouTubes because uh, that's where everything I'm getting a degree in brain science by the way um, yeah degree in, in uh, surgery uh, from the University of YouTube all right so this is uh, what it is I'm gonna you're supposed to dump this out, knead it for a minute. You can't see what I'm doing. I'll adjust the camera in a second. Uh, you knead this. You let it sit. I'll put this over here. All right. I washed my hands. Corona free. A little flour here and there, more flour because why not? Let's mix this up. It's a big pseudo dry. There we go. There's a little tack. Ball. Now, rye flour doesn't have a lot of gluten, it's not gluten free. But it doesn't have a lot of gluten, which is why it's um, dense. And that's probably why they add in this uh, 
regular flower, so it's got some structure and holds together. Oh boy, that's, well, you know what? That's working out pretty well. I, I like what's happening here. It's a thick dough. It's actually not, it's, uh, yeah, that's a little sticky, but, okay, let's keep going here. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I wanna get all this, oh, I should get my handy scraper thing. Scrape this up, semi-pro here. You can get these things on Amazon, you get like two for, I don't know, 50 cents or something, plus uh, prime shipping. Trying, trying not to use Amazon too much these days because I'm trying to help help the little guy. But sometimes you gotta, you just need to get the stuff. You need your stuff. Although these days I think I have all the stuff I need. Okay, that's that was ineffective. So this is a little. A little sticky, but not too bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read my my book in a second. Let me get this off. Let me get this off. It is sticking here. I guess you can see this. Adjust this a little bit. Tabletop view. There. All right, let's see here. Okay, the instructions say uh, after this to. Uh, Boop, 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 boop. Um, mix it up. We got the salt. Got a ball. Dense and tacky. That's right. Okay, we put this in a bowl. Cover with a damp tea towel. And let it rise for three hours. Three hours. All right. We'll be back in, we'll be back in three hours. Three hours. All right, part two. So, what do we got here? I can't see what I'm doing. Um, I put the ball in this bowl because the other bowl, the big bowl, was um, cold. Sorry this is at an angle, but I'm on a, holding a tripod here. So I'm going to do the next step, which is to roll this thing out and to a rectangular pattern, and then uh, it proves for another two hours. So, I'm going to go here. That might be a little bit bigger, but um, it ain't much bigger. So, we put that bad boy in there on the uh, slightly floured surface. And we're going to make it into a rectangle without trying to degas it, which I don't know if there's any gas in this thing. I think there's a little, but it's, it's pretty tight. Yeah, there's a little gas in there. So I'm just stretching this out a little bit, rolling it, rolling on the river. Now, 
fold the top into the middle. This isn't going to happen. You're supposed to do a fold like this. I don't know. Let's see here. Five. That's going to that's going to really degas it. I'm going to do like this. I'm going to be very gentle. And I'm going to do like this. And if you're laughing at me at home, you try this. It's still a little sticky, but I'm, I'm still happy with it. Alright. Dust with flour. Isn't that pretty? Seam side up. Kind of try to make it go together. And then, this really nifty little thing here. Whoa, fancy stuff. I don't have a rectangular proving basket. I got the next best thing. A whole lot of tea towels. To support this big, big boy. Okay. There you go. So, that is uh, phase two or something. And what we're going to do is use the last remaining tea towel in the house. It's supposed to be dry. And let it sit for two more hours. I'm going to put it over that radiator again so it's got some warmth. My kitchen is a little cool. And that big bowl is cool, which is not conducive to the yeasties getting their rise on. And I'm going to fix this. Um, it is important to have a little bit of warmth because the yeasties like the warmth. Okay. Um, tea towel, maybe. Dry, yes. Here's my tea towel. I'm going to just do that. Now put this back on the radiator. Over here. Like that. I'm going to do something like this. Alexa, set a timer for two hours. Two hours, starting now. And that's part two. Next part is um, bake. Bake it. I did want to show you the book I'm working with here. Let's see if I can do this. Cameraman. All right. Oh, let me just look at one thing in here while you watch me read. Isn't this fun? Ah, uh, tea towel, da 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 Cover, let it rise two hours. Yep, yeah, okay. This is the book I'm working out of. Okay, smorgasbord. Uh, you can get it on Amazon, I think. I don't know. Susan got it. Thank you, Susan. Uh, if I put this anywhere where there's a link, I'll put a link to it. It'll be my Amazon link, so if you click it and buy something on Amazon... I may make a couple pennies. Thanks. All right. See you later, alligator. Okay, yeah. so um, I left it in a warm place for two plus hours. The warm place was on top of a radiator. The, this looks pretty good. The test, it is a little, it does have an indentation here. But the test is that it springs back. It's pretty, pretty unspringy. Um, but this thing's been proofing for a good five plus hours. And um, I'm going to bake it. So, I'm going to stop this and then I'll uh, come back in a minute. Okay, the final product. Rye. 
scalded rye. Looks pretty good. It's a little bit damp. I cooked this for, I think it was an hour and five minutes at 400 degrees, and, uh, and it tastes delicious. So I probably left out some information. You can send me your questions, and I will do my best to answer them. And um, otherwise, have fun baking bread.